Hello, I'm Luke Jackson from Jackson's Nurseries and I'm going to share with you a few tips about how to choose a climbing plant that's right for your site and situation. The first important distinction to make is between self-clinging and twining climbers. Self-clinging varieties like Ivy, Virginia Creeper and the Hydrangea that I've got down here on my left have aerial root source suckers allowing them to climb up pretty much anything without support. On the other hand, varieties like Clematis, Jasmine and Wisteria grow by winding or twining themselves around things like a pole, wire or trellis. These varieties will need a support structure to grow successfully. It's also worth noting that some bushes, such as the Ceanothus that I've got here, can be trained as a wall shrub to achieve the same effect. It'll need to be tied into a support structure and trained upwards. The next key consideration is aspect, the direction the wall, fence or other support structure that you'll grow your climber up faces. This will determine how much sunlight it will get each day and whether it's likely to be warmer or cooler. North facing walls receive the least sun, making them cooler, shaded places. These are generally non-ideal growing conditions, but there are still plenty of climbers that will succeed in this position. East facing walls receive some sun in the morning as the sun rises before being cast into shadow in the afternoon. The early morning sun can cause damage to frozen buds and leaves which wither and turn brown as they thaw, with evergreen varieties particularly vulnerable. South and west facing walls receive sunlight throughout the day making them warmer, brighter places. They also absorb heat during the day and emit it gradually overnight, perfect for tender climbers. An alternative to traditional climbing plants in this situation are to grow fruit trees as cordons, espaliers or fans. The last couple of considerations are size and hardiness. Avoid buying climbers on impulse without checking how the eventual height and spread compares to the space you have available. Naturally, avoid planting tender climbers in exposed situations. If you want to check hardiness, you can see that under the at a glance section on the plant pages of our website. For more information or to buy climbing plants for delivery to anywhere in the UK, please visit our website at www.jacksonsnurseries.co.uk. Thank you for listening. If you found this video useful, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more gardening advice and how-to videos. Alternatively, you can watch some of the other videos from our collection.